C1. You are listening at FameTV.info. The defendant, Yi Ningxiao, has committed the crime of transporting drugs. She shall be sentenced to death. She shall be deprived of her political rights for life and shall also be sentenced to confiscation of all her personal property. After the Supreme People's Court has verified the case, we have decided to sentence the defendant, Yi Ningxiao, to death and execute him immediately. Yi Ningxiao was tightly pressed down by two stern bailiffs to sit on a specially made bench. The ice.cold bench made her feel like she had fallen into an ice house, causing her entire body to turn cold. The heavily armed police officers were spread out in every corner of the room, cautiously looking at the young woman who was sitting in the middle of the room. The solemn silence was shattered by the wailing shouts. Yi Ningxiao looked at the old man with a stooped head of white hair in the corner and her handkerchief that was constantly wiping away her tears, Xiao Xiao. This is none of your business. Why didn't you tell the judge that you were wronged? The old man had a few more strands of silver in his hair. He waved his hands aimlessly in an attempt to get closer to his daughter, but was pushed out of the hall by the armed police officer, who held him by the waist. Ye Ning Zhao's cold eyes fluctuated as ripples appeared in them. So what if he was wronged? As long as his father's illness could be cured, it didn't matter. Bang! An ear. Splitting explosion rang out. Ye Ning Zhao's body involuntarily shook. A trace of self-deprecation flew past her clearly defined black and white eyes. She lowered her head. No one could see the despair and desolation in her eyes that I end the presidential suite of a five-star hotel, a man wearing a bathrobe embraced a naked woman, held a remote control in his hand and pressed lightly. The expressionless news host on the screen was broadcasting the news of the day, interspersed with a news flash. Today, the country's famous second-string female star, Yi Su, is executing her death sentence in a certain city's court, opening a prelude to the national drug crackdown, marking the determination of our government to fight drugs. The man had a sly smile on his face as he slammed the remote onto the sofa and rolled over, pressing the woman beneath him, the LED lights were dazzling, and parts of the country's famous film and television bases were brightly lit. In order to catch up, the crew worked overtime, the manager ran around giving out instructions, hurry, hurry, it's time to film the night match. Video, light ready. A chill went through her body as she felt the softness of her body being removed. Xiao Xiao, wake up. She couldn't help but shiver, and slowly opened her eyes. Didn't he already die from a single shot? Where is this place? A clear and crisp female voice interrupted Yi Ningxiao's thoughts, what are you staring at? Hurry and get up. Yi Ningxiao looked at the young girl in front of him. She was in her early twenties, with her hair tied up in a loose bun, the girl bent over to pull Yi Ningxiao up, revealing the grey sneakers on her feet. It was the person she knew when she first stepped into the Dao, Nye Xiaoying. Her clothes looked familiar, as if she had seen them somewhere before, Nye Xiaoying mumbled, look at you. This time, I finally got a chance to be a maid. I don't know how to appreciate it. Although you don't have any lines, your clothes are much better than mine. Nye Xiaoxiao's words sounded a little sour. She lowered her head and saw the shoes at the bottom of the flower pot. She wore a set of gaudy green clothes. Some parts of the shiny clothes were still oily. Compared to other production teams, the production crew of Flower Fall Palace is way too polite towards us. Hearing Nye Xiaoxiao's words, Yi Ning Zhao's hand immediately stopped tidying her clothes. Flower descends on the palace. If she remembered correctly, eight years ago she had been part of this movie and she had actually returned to eight years ago. Now that he knew what was going on, Yi Ning Xiao heaved a sigh of relief that I and her previous life, she had always coveted comfort and pleasure. One step was wrong, and every step was wrong. In this life, she would never make the same mistake again. She had to rely on her own strength. Ye Ningxiao followed Nye Xiaoying and squeezed into the crowd. With an angry roar, she interrupted the performance. The originally noisy studio suddenly quietened down. You, are you. 
don't just look at others, just how do you do things. You can't say a few words clearly, and your expression isn't appropriate. Are you an actor or a spectator? The director, standing under the spotlight, was pointing at a palace maid and shouting. The recording board in his hand was shaking with a patter sound, the woman's lips slightly moved as if she was trying to defend something. Her eyes darted away as her gaze drifted away. The director took off his cotton cap and combed the sweat from his hair with his hand. His chest rose and fell continuously. Don't think that I don't know who you are, he said as he glanced at a corner of the crew. This is just a scene that's been filming back and forth four or five times, and it's dragging the entire process down. Ye Mingxiao looked thoughtfully at the director, who wore a woolen hat and a dark blue down down jacket. In the industry, she was known for her fiery temper. In her previous life, Yi Ningxiao had played the role of a palace maid who did not have any lines to play as she did in A Flower Landing on the Palace. In his previous life, she had been stuck at this scene for a long time. The entire film crew had been postponed until they were no longer happy with her performance. Later, the same runner dot up on the volunteer to play this scene against the pressure, leaving a deep impression on the director, in the later scenes the director gave on the more opportunities to show her face, thinking of this, Yi Ning Xiao looked around the studio and saw An Lu, who was eager to give it a try, diagonally across from her. She looked passionately at the director with undisguised excitement in her eyes. An Lu turned around and pushed the man beside her. It was Wu Guang from the props team. Wu Guang gritted his teeth and was about to speak, but the sound of sobbing came from the studio, the girl who was scolded choked with sobs, I, I. Tears rolled down his face, but he could not say a word for a long time. Scram. After Lu Jin said this, she slammed the stage board in his hand onto the ground. Wu Guang's steps suddenly retracted. An Lu looked at Wu Guang sideways and reached out her hand to push him away. Director Lu, I've already heard this part. Can you let me try? The moment Yi Ningxiao's voice sounded in the studio, everyone sucked in a breath of cold air. She was really brave to dare to offend the enemy at this time. Y Yi Ningxiao bent over to pick up the recording board that Lu Jin had thrown on the ground and patted off the dust on it. She handed it back to Lu Jin with a smile. What kind of scenes hadn't she seen in her previous life? Although there were endless rumors and bad reviews, her acting skills were one of the top few among all the female celebrities. It would not be difficult for her to play the role of a small palace maid. Lu Jin's brows furrowed as he sized up Yi Ning Xiao. Clearly, he had no impression of Yi Ning Xiao. Can you do it? Lu Jin's gaze fell upon Yi Ning Xiao's eyes, which were as bright as the moon. He was calm and indifferent with a confidence that was hard to see among the crowd of actors that he no longer said anything and could only try his best, get ready for the cameras. Get into position. Let's begin. An Lu bit her lips as she glared hatefully at Wu Guang. It was all his fault. If it wasn't for his cowardice, this chance would have fallen into her hands. Y Yi Mingxiao was kneeling on the ice. Cold floor, her shoulders trembling. Her forehead continuously knocked against the ground, and traces of bright red blood flowed out. Her pale face was filled with fear, and her eyes flickered with panic, but they were also filled with determination. Your Majesty, Little Mistress, Little Lord was wrongly accused. Little Lord didn't instruct this servant to frame the Empress, these were all scoundrels trying to frame Little Lord. Yen Hung's voice sounded panicked and after she finished speaking, she raised her head, and everyone discovered that there were tears on her face, her hair was a mess, and her forehead was red and swollen. This was a true act, not the effect of makeup. Ka. Very good. The director slapped his thigh, I never thought that there would be such a talent in the audience. What's your name? She wiped away the tears on her face and ignored the dirt on her knees. She smiled at Lu Jin and said, Director Lu, it's Yi Ningxiao. It's you. Continue on with the next scene. In the blink of an eye, it was already afternoon. The manager led Yi Ningxiao into an ancient room. 
Yi Ningxiao saw a bench placed by the door on the left side of the room. There were ropes and sticks on the side, and she already understood most of it, this was the scene of a palace maid being beaten up. L. Eugene waved his hand, where are the props? The props team hurried over and tied this, this Yi Ningxiao to a stool. Wu Guan immediately arranged for two young girls to clumsily tie a rope around Yi Ningxiao's body. Y. Yi Ningxiao's eyes darkened and a trace of mockery appeared at the corner of her mouth. It was somewhat similar to her previous life before she died. However, she had fallen into her own trap in her previous life. Perhaps she had broken out of her cocoon and been reborn again. Director Liu, the arrangements have been made. Wu Guang stood beside the cameraman and made an okay gesture at the king landing. Beside him was An Lu, who was still resentful. However, the way she looked at Yi Ning Xiao was somewhat strange. There was a strange smile on her face. Yi Ning Xiao lifted her head and met An Lu's gaze directly. An Lu hurriedly moved her face away and turned around to the side of another extras. The 22nd Battle of Flower Descends the Palace begin. The empress stood up from her chair, dressed in the luxurious robes of the hundred birds of a phoenix. Her sleeves knocked the porcelain cup onto the ground as she stared intently at Yi Ningxiao, who was kneeling on the ground. The ladies laid their cloaks on the empress's body to quell her anger. Beat him up. Beat him up. A young master's maid. Do you dare to ask me for his life? The director frowned as his lips moved. His right hand clenched into a fist as he smacked his left palm. The palace maid no longer hesitated, she no longer held the club in one hand, and instead held it tightly in both her hands. The wooden stick was instantly raised above her head. Peng, the palace maid brandished her staff and mercilessly hit Yi Ningxiao's back. The sound of her skin hitting flesh sounded extremely real. The flesh on Yi Ningxiao's waist instantly tensed up as pain spread from her waist to her entire body. Her scalp tingled with numbness. This pole is not a fake made of foam, but real wood. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.